I'm Romina Percy and welcome back to Earth From Space. Today the Copernicus Sentinel-2 mission takes us over Victoria Falls, one of the greatest natural wonders of the world. Victoria Falls, known locally as Mozi Oitonia, or the smoke that thunders, lies along the course of the Zambezi River, on the border between Zambia to the north and Zimbabwe to the south. The Zambezi River flows for around 3,500 kilometers from its source on the Central African Plateau and empties into the Indian Ocean. In this image, the river cuts from left to right before plunging over Victoria Falls, visible as a white line. While it is neither the highest nor the widest waterfall in the world, Victoria Falls has a width of around 1,700 meters and a height of over 100 meters, which classifies it as the world's largest sheet of falling water. Despite recent reports of Victoria Falls drying up, the Zambezi River is subject to large seasonal fluctuations, with water levels rising and dropping dramatically throughout the year. The water from the Zambezi River then continues and enters a narrow, zigzagging series of gorges, visible in the bottom right of the image. The town of Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe can be seen west of the falls. The town of Livingstone, named after the famous Scottish explorer, is visible just north of the falls in Zambia. Its airport can be seen west of the town. The circular shapes in the image are an example of an irrigation method called pivot irrigation or center pivot irrigation, where equipment rotates around a central pivot and crops are watered with sprinklers. The Copernicus Sentinel-2 is a two-satellite mission. Each satellite carries a high-resolution camera that images Earth's surface in 13 spectral bands. Data from the Copernicus Sentinel-2 can help monitor changes in land cover. And that brings us to the end of this edition. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the European Space Agency channel. I'm Romina Percy from ESA Web TV Studios and thank you for watching.